How's it going guys? Got a pretty exciting day in the shop today. Got a package in. These are hard to find. And I've been needing these forever. I have a small set. But now, looks like we're going to have pretty much a complete set. This is for the tree milling machine. Double taper collets. Now that's exciting. Z is the size. Sometimes they're called football collets. There we go. That's Z size. Double taper. These hold really, really well. This is on most tree knee milling machines. It's got a built-in collet closer. For reference, that's a ZZ size. So there's ZZ, and that is Z. Come in all different sizes. The tree uses Z. And I got pretty much a full set here now. Oh boy. That's going to be wonderful. I already have this set. And it's been adequate. I use ER collets when I need a collet that I don't have a size for. But since the tree already has the built-in collet closer, it's going to be nice having all of these. These are superior holding power to R8. For sure. There we go. These look like they're in really good shape. You can still buy these new for $40. $45 a piece. Every once in a while, you'll get lucky with a find like that. Here we are at the tree milling machine, and you have a built in collet closer right here. Uses the handle. One of the important parts of this collet closer is this yoke here. And it fits in here. That's what pulls the collet closed. So of course you leave that on, but it'll open a little. Right about there. There's a nut. And in there is your collet. See that? That goes up in the nose. With the yoke open a little, you pull down on the handle, it'll stop. That's opening the collet. Close the nut all the way until it's snug. Back it off a little bit and then put your tool in. In this case, an end mill. So let's put that in there. Then you're going to push back on the handle. Now I'm not feeling it go over center, it's too smooth. In that case, you pull down on the handle and turn this a little tighter and push it back on the handle. Still, no over center. Pull back down, a little bit tighter, back on the handle. You can hear that, listen. Still not quite tight enough, I'm going to tighten it a little more, back, push back on the handle. It's closing the collet. You can hear it closing the collet. Close the collet, close the yoke, ready to go. Here's the action with the handle in play. Notice the yoke is closed. Now the quill will descend. But if you jiggle the handle a little bit, you can open this yoke. 
just opens a little bit I would say three quarters of an inch once that's open hold your tool pull the handle down I'm gonna move the handle so you can see I'm gonna pull the handle down that opens the collet your tool comes out put the tool in and close the collet close the yoke use it to change to a different tool open the yoke pull the handle down that opens the collet tools out take the nose off put a different collet in close it up tight I'm pulling the handle down back it off a little bit get your tool in close the collet now that's doesn't have much resistance on it so I'm going to tighten it a little that's pretty good right there you can hear it you don't want to go over center too much that's closed pretty good once it's closed done and when you get good at it in out out in. Some people don't like the tree milling machines because they can't get used to this collet closer. They'll put pliers on here. They have no idea how to use it. You just got to get the feel for it. It's actually pretty easy. Yoke out. If the yoke won't come out, then the handle has to be all the way up. See if the handle's down a little bit and stuck there, the yoke won't come out. Make sure the handle's all the way up. Yoke comes right out. Now, pull down on the handle, and that opens the collet. Put your tool in, pull up on the handle, that closes the collet. Close the yoke. Up on the handle, open the yoke, down on the handle, screw this nose off. There's a close-up of it. That's where the collet goes. Screws right on there. I pull down on the handle, screw it closed tight, back off a little. Put your tool in. While holding your tool, pull up on the handle. When I say over center, there's like a click. See, there's resistance right there, and then I keep pushing, and now it closes the collet. But I can tell from experience that this is not quite tight enough. So with the handle all the way down, all I have to do is turn this knurled nose a little bit more, and then pull up. That's nice and tight. Done. Very simple. Nothing to be afraid of. It's an excellent system. It's all built in. I could use an ER collet chuck, but I'd have to use a three quarter inch collet and then use a collet here. So between my spindle, I have one collet, two collets. So I have the introduction of more chance for error. Sure, it may be minimal, but this collet system is built in and therefore very accurate no drawbar in the tree no drawbar to mess with universal engineering double taper collet closer these double taper ZZ collets I use on the horizontal mill on the 40 taper this is a double taper collet closer that's for the horizontal mail in my shop this is an ER collet this is a ER spring collet these are great because they catch over and under a little bit oversize a little bit undersize these got to be dead on.
The Z size collets go up to three quarters of an inch, and the ZZ goes up to an inch. What I do is if it's not already engraved, so I get a little pencil engraver and I engrave the size on the collet. That's a quarter inch. Three sixteenths. Okay, there you have it. Just another exciting day in the shop. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.